a space on a wall above my fireplace and I really want to produce something decent where I can print meter by meter and a half. My main goal is to improve my uh, all-round photography. Learn how to use my new camera. Get more consistency and be a little better at my photography. Hopefully it captures some behavior. I am learning how to use my new camera. Uh, more than I can handle at the moment, but I hopefully will learn quite a bit and get better each day. I don't mean it uh, literally. White angle lens, maybe or official lens. A focus just on super macro or on just something else what you want to try out. Just take one throw, it will be enough. Not working very well. Go! Yep, I got my two diopters, it's a plus 10 and a plus 15, two strobes. I got my MF2 snoot and also another strobe, focus light. We're gonna take a good shot of a hairy frogfish this time. Yeah. Outstanding actually. Yeah. Saw stuff we've never seen before. Got some good pictures. I think I got a hairy shrimp with eggs, a clown frogfish, blue ring octopus, and a cardinal fish with eggs. Little bit opening mouth, not full on. And what lights are being used here? Really, sometimes to wait. It's not. It doesn't matter if you have uh, have a chance to to make a picture. Eye contact. Yes. Yeah. I'm happy to learn what I can do better on it. <laughs> learning about macro yeah and I'm not sucking at it but I'm not great it's new I'm learning I think I already developed myself a bit my photography needs a lot of work and it was a little bit frustrating yeah how was the new camera it's a great camera I have a lot of user error going on right now <laughs> crazy lighting stuff basically and just you know move away from just a normal macro shot. It's really getting into creative lighting and seeing how we can really maximize to get some killer shots. In fact for the silhouette shot like the Harry that's perfect you want to put it straight pointing at Today we're going to talk about these guys. These things have gone through an evolution. If you only have a setting like this, it actually only lets you do details. Oh, maybe I'm going to go a little angle, make it a bit smaller again. Oh, so bright, yeah. Work, theoretically. Oh yeah, I do like this too. Oh, I like the snoot, yeah, especially when you have the guy help you with it. Yeah. <laughs> trying to do it yourself is like, oh man, this is a lot. Yeah. Podcast or something else, and they just move back schedule. The green in your lightroom. Can you can beam out of your lightroom or oh, yeah. out of camera or? Oh, yeah. So you, you shoot 43 on uh, uh, Norris uh, and have the image only the sharp the way you actually want to have it. Until to 12, there is a sloping area. I'm going to use this to do some amazing bokeh sparkly effects. Can you put it behind you? See, people use it before with uh, pretty good. Well, I'm going to try opening up the aperture and just get a smaller depth of field on some subjects.
You know, it's the moon that's coming out, which is what's attracting everything from the deep. You don't want to be doing rapid ascents. Most of them facing down to attract the animal. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Doing some black water. Have fun. Woo! We just concluded day six of uh, our photo workshop and we're going up to the competition where people are going to show what they have. Okay, so the first category is with a voucher, travel voucher of 1,000. It's about $120. Thank you so much. Very nice. Let them give the price first, guys. We had a really nice week here in Lembe uh, of diving and lots of critters, lots of fun photographing and I think it was a really nice group, uh, lots of beginners, lots of more advanced people as well but everybody was so nicely working together. It was amazing, it was great because people were really patient. It was very well organized, the emphasis was upon improving your photographic skills. Instructors were great and learning techniques. Uh, I've got a lot to work on, a lot to practice, but it's good to see everyone else has similar sorts of issues. I really enjoyed it. I like to be uh, close with other photographers in this, in this week. Uh, Relearning my camera and uh, getting to grips with uh, all the new techniques I've been learning. More ideas on how to take the shot, how to, how to frame the, the pictures and uh, come at things differently than I was before. The light is the most important thing. Everything else, you know, can be compensated for. I got my first snoot, which is awesome, and it does lead to a little bit of over snooting, but it's a lot of fun. I had a new camera, and I got a lot of help from all the coaches. They helped me learn all the camera, the setup, the equipment, and how to use all the functions of it. How to spend more time with the subjects, for sure. Using creative backgrounds, I didn't do that before. What? Attention to details and the time to practice all theoretical skills. I've been to four separate photography workshops and the significant difference between this one and the three others is that this one was conducted by world-class photographer. You learn from pros like, like Simon and Toby and even if, I, I would say I know Lightroom, but you always learn something new and it's fantastic to see how, how a decent image they take it from good to great. I had two great coaches, both of them were really patient. Um, I picked up so many tips from both about how to edit things, uh, what to look for, how to be brutal when you have to get rid of stuff. Uh, I think the learning from the experiences of uh, two very established um, professional photographers was uh, something that you don't often get the opportunity to experience. To make it even more effective, when we were under the water, the instructor, Simon and Tobias, actually interacted with each one of us and demonstrated what we were learning in class. And as a result of that, I found that I actually did succeed in, in obtaining some photographs. <laughs> I'll probably come again. <laughs> And what I like about Inside the Divers is that the group uh, was playing so nicely together. So everybody was helping each other. Everybody was so passionate about underwater photography. So there were talks about photography in the morning, at the lunch break, as well as through the night. So everybody was really patient to go here and photograph critters in the Lambert Street. Oh yeah, you know who's good for you, huh?